Anderson County 911, what's the location of your emergency? Anderson County Emergency Services Division is under the Anderson County Sheriff. We have approximately 100 folks in the Emergency Service Division. We have approximately 406 Sheriff's Office employees. In the Emergency Service Division, we have the 911 Center, Homeland Security. We answer here in the Anderson County 911 Center over 500,000 calls a year. We have I-85 corridor that runs through us, so we have a variety of accidents. We have a lot of mountainous trains and lakes around us that requires air support from our helicopters, our rescue teams, and our boats. The Anderson County Unified Emergency Communication Center, or 911 Center, is the only one in Anderson County. So in that 780 square miles, no matter where you call 911 from, it comes here. We shoot for a 60 second average, that's the time that the call taker takes the call to the time that the dispatcher sends the call to the responder. Alright, my partner's already sent in an ambulance to you, if you could just have the patient sit or lie down, whichever one's more comfortable for her. July 4th, 2011, uh, we were actually operating at a drowning on Lake Hartwell and a small cell thunderstorm came through and uh, had a lightning strike that resulted in the catastrophic failure of our primary 911 center. They took a shell of a building, gutted the building, and put it all back together, and as a result, we've got a state-of-the-art 911 center. The cost to the taxpayers was zero. The big reason was county employees, county staff. Our staff were responsible for most of the labor that was associated with installing the new equipment. Fiscal impact, we've saved hundreds of thousands of dollars by doing this, and I think that we're going to have the best 911 center in the southeast of the United States because of that. After the lightning strike, Abtec teamed up with Anderson County to provide new IP dispatch consoles for their 911 center. Part of that was incorporating several different technologies. They had a statewide 800 megahertz system. Along with that, they had a VHF system and their telephone system with a 911 system along with that as well. One of the big things we wanted to do was to have an IP architecture and it was important that our IP architecture from any of the vendors we chose were open standards IP architecture, that they did not require their own proprietary protocols. What that allowed us to do was to use existing network resources. The Avtech Scout is limited only by our imagination. If we can think of it, we can make the Scout do it. I like the Avtech radio system better than our previous one because it's customizable, more user friendly, and we can dispatch calls much quicker because of the Avtech. Avtech software is the, the heartbeat of the center. Um, it, it's what makes everything happen. I can't say enough about the flexibility that it provides. This system is, is totally interoperable. What comes out of this is a brand new state of an art center using some of the latest and greatest technologies that's available for next generation 911. We look forward to a lot of our partnerships that we've made in installing this equipment with Avtech, Interact, Solacom. They are great partners. They have delivered great equipment, probably some of the best equipment that our dispatchers have ever had the opportunity to work on. You know, being part of the family now that it just, you know, it, it, it's like a chain and, and, and all the links work together. Absolutely, we feel that having the best equipment is vital. We call it mission critical and to put it plainly, it's how do we serve a customer or a 911 caller when it's our mother, when it's our daughter, it's our family. That's mission critical for us.